Hey, welcome back. So I'm doing a follow-up slash update to a video that I did a good while back on T-Rex plugins from IK Multimedia and how they weren't rendering correctly and they would silence the audio file when using standalone audio editors. I'll link the video in the description and I'll tag it at the end of the video because I actually want you guys to watch this and then you guys can go back and watch the old video so you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, so the problem that I previously mentioned is that when you use the IK Multimedia plugins and you would render the plugins, it would silence your audio file. And let me show you. Audio file silence. So this bug has not been fixed yet in this application called Twisted Wave. However, so here we are in WaveLab switching over. Here's the plugin. And if I hit render, render in place, start, we can see the file gets processed and it's finally working. Let's take a look at some other apps to see which other apps work and don't. All right, so here we are in Adobe Edition and let's just see if it renders silent or if it actually renders normal. And it looks like it works in Adobe Edition. Undo, you can see how the file was before. So it's definitely working in Adobe Edition. Now we're in an app called Acoustica from Acon Digital. Let's process and see what happens. All right, so as you see in this one, we have some silence at the beginning of the file and the rest of it gets processed. This was common with the previous bug, so it looks like in this particular app, it won't work. Okay, and now here we are in Amadeo's Lite. There's also a pro version of this app. I don't own it, but I have tested it and it, they kind of respond the same way. So if it works here, it should work on the other one. Um, let's hit apply to see if they fixed it for this app. And it looks like it does work. It does apply the effect without silencing the audio. So, you know, applauding IK Multimedia for fixing the issue. And it seems like it's working now in WaveLab. It's working in Adobe Edition and it's working in Amadeus Lite. It didn't work in Twisted Wave and it didn't work on Acoustica. Uh, but this is definitely progress. It's great to see that their plugins are being worked on, they're being updated. So in the future, maybe it'll be working in every app. Now, the one thing that I have noticed is that there are no issues that I've come across when working with uh, Logic, with Pro Tools, um, DaVinci Resolve, any of these uh, other dolls that are multi-track and that you, you know, apply plugins to and end up bouncing your, your audio out. I have not had any issues with those applications. It just seems to be these standalone editors. Um, and I know Audition is a multi-track, but again, before it didn't work um, when it was applying it as a standalone audio file. So anyways, I hope this video helps. And I just wanted to give you guys an update to something that I had pointed out being an issue. And it took them a while, but at least they're making progress and definitely fixing their plugins and keeping them updated. So, you know, it's kind of good to know if you're investing or have invested in these plugins. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next video.